What's up guys, this is Zach from Angler's Escape and today I'm making another video on my series Fishing Basics and today it's going to be over how to rig your pole for fishing with worms or minnows and uh, a lot of people associate worms with fishing and that's because worms are one of the best baits out there for fishing so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want is you're going to have some hooks and, uh, and a sinker and a bobber so I'm going to go ahead and the first thing you're going to do is tie on your sinker so right here I'm using braided line, which normally you use monofilament. I'm just using braider line because it's darker and easier to show what's going on. But uh, you'll probably be using around 10 pound monofilament. So go ahead and uh, take about a foot leader, put your sinker, thread it through, and now go ahead and start tying your knot. The first thing you do for fisherman's knot, and I'll probably make a more detailed video on this, but basically you twist up your line six to eight times. Now go ahead and take your loose end, go through the loop that's still here and then you got this big loop right here I'm gonna go ahead and take the line back through and they're done that's it so you make two loops I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this move the knot down right on top of that sinker so now I got my sinker and this is only a fourth ounce to an eighth ounce this hook right here I'd use more for a minnow because it has a longer and skinnier shaft which basically for when you're hooking minnows it does less damage and they live longer with that but for worms I like using a little shorter uh, hook. There we go. I'll go ahead and show you guys another knot. So again I just twist it five or six times. Go ahead and take this loose end. Bring it through the start. Now I'm going to go ahead and make it, bring it through this big hole I just made. I want you to bring it through those two. You finished your knot. I'll pull it tight. And these fisherman knots, the reason they're a lot better than granny knots is because granny knots actually pinch the line on itself, so the line will cut itself. When you twist it up and tie these uh, knots for fishing, it keeps the line from crimping down on itself and cutting itself. Then I take a little pair of these snail clippers right here and clip off the loose ends. So now I have my hook and sinker, usually only like, a lot of times I only use like a six inch leader for a difference between my hook and hook and sinker. The next thing I do is I'll take a bobber. So I'll go ahead and show you guys hooking on a traditional bobber. And a lot of times I'll need to fish like maybe two, three feet down. So I'll go ahead and hook it on right here. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put your finger on the top, make sure this hook's exposed, wrap it around once, release the top. Now make sure your thumb's on the bottom so the hook can't stick out the bottom. Push this down, loop it around once more this hook, let go and now you have your bobber on. And this is your worm setup. Have your little weight, hook, and bobber. Cast this out here with a little piece of worm. If your bait's getting stripped, just start using smaller and smaller hooks and smaller and smaller worm pieces and you'll start catching the fish that are stripping your bait. Um, if there's big catfish or bass, you could upsize your hook and use bigger baits. But I hope you learned something here today, and I'll go ahead and link in uh, how to hook worms. So thanks for watching.